Hey guys, I'm Marissa Spencer, and today I'm going to take you through Fab Slide 13, Competitors, using product substitutability to identify current and potential competitors. So oftentimes, when assessing competition, firms can easily develop a focus that is too narrow and then also on the other end of being too broad. Firms that identify current and potential competitors in an excessively narrow or excessively broad manner may be wasting or not allocating enough efforts to fend off competition. Marketing myopia is the manner in which companies only identify competitors as those who are selling the same product or service to the same customers. When firms behave this way, they are missing out on fulfilling potential customers' needs and not considering the future. Adopting a more customer-centric mindset and widening its focus are potential aids for these nearsighted firms. An example of this could be in the delivery service with Amazon. Amazon is an e-commerce company and the delivery service leader. When it comes to online shopping, they take the cake. However, recently same-day grocery delivery services have emerged, such as Instacart and Shipt. These companies can provide many of the same products that Amazon does, but without the mailing and shipping process. Same-day de grocery delivery services can have your items delivered to you in under an hour. And from stores other than just grocery stores that extend to places like pharmacies or pet supply stores. However, with Amazon being such a large and successful company, it didn't really have a problem with widening its focus to combat these newly emerging delivery services. Then moving down to marketing hyperopia. This is on the complete opposite end of the spectrum than marketing myopia. This involves expelling efforts to compete with firms that aren't really their competitors. This results in wasted time and money. This is being too broad and can be labeled as farsighted, being perceptive of distant things rather than what's near. Let's use a hypothetical example of this with Bar Louie. Bar Louie is a popular restaurant and bar where people like to spend their disposable income. Bar Louie is located near a movie theater and Dave and & Buster's. Bar Louie starts to get the impression that because these two businesses are also places where people like to spend their disposable income, that it should expel advertising efforts to compete with them. Dave & Buster's and the local movie theater are not who Bar Louie should be directly competing with. Bar Louie should really be focusing its efforts on competing with the two restaurant bars located across the street from them. Now to shift gears back to discussing the specific types of competition. Brand competition aligns pretty similarly with marketing myopia. Let's say Pepsi and Coke were only competing with each other and no other soda brands. Their offerings are very similar, catering to similar customers with a similar product at a similar price. Then we can look at the pizza industry for industry competition. This would be like Domino's competing with all other pizza restaurant chains. Form competition could be Old Navy competing with all other companies that sell clothing, like Victoria's Secret, Walmart, Gap, Nordstrom, Dillard's, and the list goes on. Then getting closer to marketing hyperopia, we've got generic competition. The Toyota example pictured on the slide is a great way to describe generic competition. Here, Toyota is competing for the same customer dollars that would be spent on big purchases, like a house, extravagant vacation, or maybe even a boat. And that is competitors, with using product substitutability to identify current and potential competitors. Thank you!